Hey, how are you? I got a very interesting email recently, just a few days ago, this might be my aisle, from a viewer who moved to the United States from India, New York City specifically. I think New York City. New York State? New York City. Okay, this is not my aisle. Oh, this is my aisle. Twin air mattress. That's what we're doing. I feel like that's expensive. $24? Does that feel like a lot? He said in the email that he found that food in America is very, very expensive compared to India where he is from. He didn't know if getting a box of cereal at Walmart for $4 was a good deal or not for Americans. So I thought that's what we would do today. I'm here at a regular grocery store. This is Fred Meyer. It's not a discount store in any way. It's not a Walmart or an Aldi or a Winco or something like that. This is a higher priced grocery store. And I'm gonna show you the least expensive items I would buy if I were on a budget and getting some sticker shock at American prices, especially all of the processed food like box cereal and things like that. I don't feel like this is the best deal on this, on this air mattress. Not happy. I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. The specific question was about boxed cereal for about $4, which as you can see, yes, $3.99 right here. We have $5 up here. $4 over here. No, this is not a good deal. I never buy box cereal like this unless I'm looking at a dollar, very close to a dollar a box on sale or on clearance. $4 a box, not up in here. Not up in here. So what you want to do is like, do you eat box cereal like this in India? I don't, I don't know. I'm like, what do you eat for breakfast in India? I am no expert in Indian cuisine. So I'm just going to look it up right now. Typical breakfast in India. A flatbread, crepes, like a pancake, spiced potatoes. Okay, that's great. Pancakes are cheap, crepe, crepes are cheap, especially if you make them yourself, and potatoes are cheap. I don't know if you do a hot cereal kind of a situation, but if you were to do that, that's that's pretty cheap. Oatmeal's pretty cheap around here. And like I said, this is a more expensive grocery store than like a Walmart or something, but from what I understand, New York doesn't have that. This huge thing of oats is $3.40, $3.40. Way more food for about the same cost as that uh, processed box of cereal. Don't feel like cooking? This one's on sale today. $1.50 for eight pouches of this high fiber. Actually, this is one of Dave's favorite cereals. I may buy this one. When it comes to pancakes and crepes, I highly recommend making them yourself. You're, they're gonna taste the best and be the cheapest, which means you're gonna have to buy like flour, eggs, milk, baking powder, sugar, things like that. But if you don't want to do that, you can, of course, get a mix, something like this. This is 250. You can go into your like protein varieties, which are gonna be more expensive, but legit crepes are the easiest things to make by yourself. All you need is a blender, some milk, some eggs, and some flour, and you are done. There's a great deal on eggs here this week. 18 of them are $1.47, and you are definitely gonna need these if you're gonna make crepes or pancakes or something like that, or you can just eat eggs. Like, a lot of Americans just eat eggs, that's what we do. Just under $1.50 for this is a great price. Take care of those spiced potatoes. Potatoes are very inexpensive. You can get them loose like this, or you can purchase like a 10 pound bag over here. It's only $3.79. And then you can do a ton of different things with this. Now, not everyone can find clearance stickers like this on this cod right here. If you can't find clearance stickers at your grocery store, the next best thing is to find a sale. So here right now, I found chicken thighs and drumsticks for 99 cents a pound, meaning you can get a huge package of chicken thighs for right about $5. And if you're only feeding one person, that's a huge savings. Uh, one of my other tips is make sure that you start by going around the perimeter of the store. That's gonna be your basic ingredients, your proteins, your produce, your dairy, your eggs, things like that. And then you can start going through the center aisles for some staples, things like rice, beans, lentils. If I remember right, uh, India uses a lot of uh, rice and lentils and things like that, right? So you can definitely go pick up your single ingredient items instead of, so for example, like instead of buying this mac and cheese for $9, you can go get pasta and milk and cheese and make it yourself for a lot cheaper and a lot healthier. My favorite budget items are always the same. It's gonna be rice, beans, lentils, something like that, oatmeal, bananas, milk, eggs, bread, um, an inexpensive protein of some kind. Chicken is probably one of the least expensive proteins there are, along with some cuts of pork, 
pasta is a great one. It's just so easy to add like a sauce, a protein, vegetables to rice and beans and a pasta and change it in any way that you want. You don't wanna make your own sauce? Don't make your own sauce, go buy a jar. It's not that expensive. But the one thing that I will definitely tell you to avoid is the highly processed pre-packaged items. For example, this Ben's Wild Rice is $3. $3 for this six ounce, teeny, teeny little package. You can get a five pound bag of plain rice for $3. A few spices, whatever you wanna to add to it, and come up with something really, really similar for a lot less money, just by putting it together yourself. I'm okay with shortcuts in some cases. Some of them aren't even that much. This minute brown rice right here is only $1.69 today. Uh, that's a great deal. This, for example, I am not a fan of this one. So we're like hiding veggies in here. I, I don't know. Even on sale, it's $3.50 for 6.6 .6 ounces. This is not going to fill you up and it's very expensive. Here's a little hack that I have for you. This pastaroni, which is $1. Uh, when I was in college, I used to make this all the time and add chicken and broccoli and mix it all together for a really delicious meal. It was like my fake out cooking because I didn't really know how to cook yet. And this one's a lot cheaper than the other one. And with the addition of the chicken and the broccoli, it's gonna be more filling and more nutritious. I mean, it's still not as good as making it yourself, but it is a better choice than that other one. Pasta is every college kid's favorite budget item. These days, it's a little more expensive than it used to be. Like, we're at $1.79 here for a pound. If I get the generic brand, I'm sitting at what? $1.34, that's a little bit better. So let's say you're picking up this one. These boxes actually have eight servings in them. And if you're adding vegetables and a sausage or something like that to it, it can go a long way. Here's another one of my favorite aisles is the baking aisle. You only need a couple of ingredients. We have like, I feel like everybody needs flour, sugar, salt, pepper, a couple basic spices. We flip it around, we've got oils and vinegars and these few basic ingredients just to have in your pantry to get yourself kicked off you can make a wide wide variety of foods for very inexpensive and if you want kind of a cheat or a shortcut you can pick up a baking mix like this i don't think these are as good as homemade but you can do pancakes cornbread biscuits waffles all kinds of stuff with something like this now i'm from the south which means cornmeal is an essential pantry ingredient as well because how else do you make cornbread to go with everything as a side dish am i right or am i right i'm a big fan of cheese and crackers and fruit as a snack it's something i do a lot but i'm pretty plain in my cracker choice and i only do it when it's on sale so today you can see that these pita crackers um, which are amazing, by the way, are only $1.47. That's the price I'm willing to pay for these, not the original. See all these? Just keep on walking. Keep on walking, do not be tempted. There's no reason to purchase any of these items. They are expensive, they provide, well, calories, but no vitamins or anything like that. And while they taste delicious, definitely gonna bust your budget. Basically, the more specialty the item, the more expensive it's going to be. And you need to avoid those aisles that aren't actually food. Like cookies aren't actually food, it's just a treat. You might wanna check out to see if your area has a discount grocery store, um, like a salvage or scratch and dent kind of a thing where they get boxes that are crumbled, would be a lot cheaper. One of the biggest tips I have is to keep it simple. Buy the ingredients instead of the item all put together. You want cookies, buy all of the ingredients to make cookies instead of buying a package of cookies. You want pancakes, buy the ingredients to make pancakes. Keep your food simple and it will be cheaper. And number two is take a look at how much you throw away. If you were like, oh, I didn't get to this, I had this leftovers, and you toss a lot of it, then chances are you're not planning well enough and you're buying too much for your household. Food waste is probably the most expensive thing you can do with your grocery budget. So uh, if you are throwing quite a bit away, take a view of what it is, how often you have to throw stuff away, and then reevaluate what you're buying. In some cases, the bulk packages are not the best deal. Two more of my favorite tips are to shop the sales. Shopping the sales, is such a huge money saver. It is absolutely enormous. And then if you're only gonna do one thing, one thing before you go grocery shopping, it is to 
write down a meal plan and a list of ingredients and stick to the list. One of my best friends has always spent a ton on food and it was because she went to the store and just bought whatever she wanted and got home and didn't know what to make for dinner and would order pizza. <laughs> so I had all this food, but like, but no food, if you know what I mean. In contrast, another friend of mine would go to the store with her list, buy less, like there would be less things in the cart, pay less money, and they'd have dinner every night. Making and sticking to a meal plan can be huge when it comes to your grocery budget. And then if you do all of the tips together, you are really saving the doll hairs. I have a ton more videos on saving money on your grocery budget here in America, and I will leave the full playlist of that down below for you if you wanna go check out some of my other videos where I talk about things in more detail. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for sending me that email. I think it's such an interesting topic. Um, it's time for me to drive home, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.